Hey guys, it's me, Jello Pineda, and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the Yeezy Boost 350, Yeezy 500, and Yeezy 700 sizing guide. Thank you so much for clicking on this video today and I do hope you guys are having a wonderful day. If you're new here, please make sure that you are subscribed to the channel and also kung matagal ka na rito, maraming salamat for sticking with me. So Yeezy Sizing Guide. Yes, yung maraming, maraming katanungan tungkol dito eh. Pa bakit ba iba-iba yung sizing natin pagdating sa Yeezys? It's also like a question in my head before na sabi ko bakit size 10 ako pero bakit para mas fit sa akin ng 11. So, maraming variables or maraming facts kung bakit nag-iiba yung sizing ng sneaker. Uh, number one would be, syempre, yung material na ginamit. Like, if it's a thin thin prime knit or a thick prime knit, or it's made entirely different, like, mga puro suede materials ba ang ginamit dyan. Syempre, you need to know what your true to size is. You have to understand na yung true to size mo is yung length, yung paa mo. Pero, syempre, your fit would vary depending on your width. You have to know as well if you're wide-footed or narrow-footed. So, dun tayo medyo nagkakatulo-talo. I know meron akong kakilala na size 10 lang siya, pero hindi niya kasha ang size 10. Yung length ng paa niya, pang size 10 lang. Pero yung taba ng paa niya, parang pang size 11 or 10 and a half. Alam mo yun? So, kahit size 10 lang sneaker, talagang lumalapad talaga siya. So, kailangan din malaman mo, mo muna within yourself kung ano talaga yung size mo. And at the same time, you also need to know what kind of socks do you wear. So, I have here a thin sock and then thick socks. Okay? So, ito, manipis na medyas. Ito, makapal na medyas. Not, not everyone knows na, alam mo yun, na iba-iba ang mga socks ng tao. Like, for example, ako, I'm a size 10, pero sometimes gumagamit ako na manipis para makuha ko yung true to size ko. Or kapag medyo malaki, gagamit ako na mas makapal para medyo okay pa rin ang fit niya sa akin. Yung ibang tao, lahat ng, lahat ng medyas nila ay makapal. Kaya feeling nila, true to size nila is mas malaki pala kaysa sa true to size nila. And at the same time, yung iba naman, gamit nila ay laging mga manidipis na medyas. So, nakikita nila doon kung ano talaga yung true to size nila. Kung baga, maraming variables at maraming factors kung bakit di natin makuha ang talagang size natin when it comes sa mga sneakers. Pero, for this instance, we're gonna be talking about the Yeezys. Also, we'll be doing a separate video on what socks you should buy for your sneakers. Okay? In a separate video na po yun. Itong mga sneakers na to, ang fit nila sa akin is based on this uh, sock. Itong manipis na medyas. Okay, so let's start off with the Yeezy Boost 350. I've, I've reviewed 350 silhouettes here before sa channel na to. They all come in size 10. My true to size is size 10. The problem is medyo masikip sa akin ng size 10. Let's start with this Yeezy Boost 350 na size 10. So this is a size 10 and meron siyang insole. This is my true to size at kususutin ko to with an insole, masikip siya dito. Like, uh, makita mo it's very snug. For some people, mas prefer nila yung snug. I know some people na gusto nila snug fit sa kanila, yun yung gusto nila true to size. And I would think na those people are narrow-footed. Unlike me, in my in my case, na medyo andun tayo sa range ng medyo wide-footed tayo, mas gusto ko na konting, may konting space. When I tried these on feet, medyo masikip siya or very, very snug siya, which gives me that uncomfortable feeling. Kaya mas gusto ko, even if nasusuot ko siya, pwede siya. I, I mean, I can rock this for the whole day, pero I don't think na, ay, alam mo yun, magiging comfortable ako the whole day. Pag tinanggal mo naman kasi yung insole, Ang problem, medyo nababawasan yung ano niya. Medyo, I, for, in, in my opinion, medyo nababawasan yung cushioning niya pag tinanggal mo yung insole. Pero it's still fine. It's still wearable and wala naman, alam mo yun, sanay naman tayo na walang insoles. Especially mga kung nag-NMD ka na before na hindi uso ang insoles. ba? So ito pwede naman. Wala namang, wala naman kaso doon. Like, you can wear your, your 350s na walang insole. At medyo magkakaroon ka na space dito sa taas. Pero lengthwise, or yeah, lengthwise, ganun pa rin eh. Which leaves me to, to my next Yeezy Boost 350. This is a uh, blue tint and the size is 10.5. Now, when I rock the sneakers with a uh, with an insole, perfect fit. Perfect fit siya sa akin. Alam mo yun, using thin socks, tapos 10.5 siya, walang tanggalan ng insole. Sobrang perfect lang sa akin nung fit nito with an insole. At manipis ang medsas. Pero if I wanted a little more comfort, I would remove the insoles. At yun na. Kumbaga, doon na mas perfect yung fit nito sa akin na nakamanipis naka na medzas. So again, 10.5 is the way to go for me. So I'm a half size up at ang medzas ko ay manipis. Good siya. 
I also tried a pair of size 11s ng Yeezy Boost 350s. Yung sa barkada ko kay Mark. I actually made an on-foot section nun nung uh, binili niya sa Foot Locker exclusive sa US. Nung ako mismo, after nun, after shoot na yun, pinatry niya sa akin ng size 11. With an insole, okay ang feeling niya. Tapos nakamandipis ako mezas. Parang alam mo, meron siyang konting, konting space lang. Pero it gives you that, that extra room for comfort. Pero pag tinanggal mo na yung insole, wala na sobrang luwang na siya. If that's the case, kung medyo sobrang luwang na siya, pwede na magpalit ng mezas dito sa mas makapal na mezas. Pero then again, since we're talking about what size would be best for you, so half size up po tayo sa 350. Now, let's move on to Yeezy 500. So, meron ako nakap na Yeezy Salt. So, I already made the review. It's gonna be up here if you wanna see it. When I tried these on, they were very comfortable. Even if hindi siya boost, Andun ako sa part na okay pala siya and it's very lightweight na rin. I mean, if, if you start walking around using these sneakers, okay pala siya. Like, hands down, okay pala siya. And I got a size 10.5. Now, this size 10.5, nung finit ko to, sakto lang yung 10.5 sa akin. Yes, this is wide foot friendly if you if you look at it. Pero pagating dito, because of the material, uh, para meron pa rin siyang inner lining. So, dahil medyo matigas yung inner lining niya, when I try these on, Medyo saktong-sakto lang yung 10.5 sa akin. So, I was wondering, paano pala ako nag-size 10 ako na manipis ang mezas. So, I do think na okay lang. Snug yung fit niya. Pero then again, dahil medyo matigas siya ng konti dito, uh, I would I would be better off na half size up na rin para you still have that comfort. And at the same time, meron, meron na kasing factor na yung paamo medyo naka nakausog pa ng konti dito than sagad dito. Because of the sock liner itself, dahil medyo makapal nga siya. If you go with the size 10, sobrang fit. Kung 10.5, good siya. If you go with the size 11, baka sobrang kapal, sobrang laki na sa'yo. Looking at the sneaker na from afar, mukha na talaga siyang mataba. Now, let's move on to the Yeezy 700. Now, the Yeezy 700, I got the size 10.5. And this is, uh, well, since this is my first pair ever, ng 700s, I don't really know what to expect. It's wide foot friendly. Sobrang okay ng ano niya dito. Sobrang okay. It's very plush. Alam mo yung swak na swak lang ang paa mo. Pagating ko dito sa may toe box area, same po nito kasi it had suede dito sa, sa toe box niya. Kailan lang niya ng time para mag-break in pa ng konti para siguro medyo lumambot. Ito medyo lumambot ng konti pero alam mo yun, okay pa rin sa akin yung 10.5 but this meron pa rin konting room. And at the same time, manipis na medyas lang ang gamit ko dito. So again, this is a 10.5. If I went through to size like size 10, ang problem ko, yes, may space ka nga din dito sa side pero pagdating dito sa taas, medyo yung length, medyo nakokompromise na niya. And if you go with the size 11 naman, uh, medyo malaki lang siya ng konti. That's the time that you switch your socks sa mas makapal na mezas. Or dahil ako, mas prefer ko ang nagmamanipis na mezas when it comes sa Adidas na, na sneakers. So, I prefer yung medyo, yung sakto lang. So, yes, that's the Yeezy 350, 500, and 700 sizing guide. I do hope na meron kayo natutunan sa video na to. Uh, this is based on my personal experience with these sneakers. It may not be the same as yung sa, sa ibang tao. Kasi, syempre, magkakaiba naman tayo ng paa. Kung baga, parang, baka iba yung opinion ko sa sneakers na yun versus dun sa iba. Pero at least, that that was for me. Kung sakasakali medyo magkaparehas tayo ng size, baka makatulong na rin sa'yo ito. Anyways, I do hope you liked this video. And if you did, please go ahead and smash that like button dito sa baba. And kung bago ka rito, please make sure that you are subscribed to my YouTube channel. Kung matagal ka na rito, maraming maraming salamat for sticking with me. Salamat po. And I'll see you on the next video. Peace, guys.